Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your background color on Shopify. So by default, most of your Shopify stores will just have a plain white background. I know a lot of you guys do want to change the overall background color of your Shopify store. So that's what we're going to be breaking down here in today's video, how to change the background color as well as how to change the background color of specific sections within your Shopify store as well. Now, before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to online store. And now currently I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify. It is one of Shopify's many different free themes that you can use. So this may look a little bit different depending on what theme you're using and the default background color that Shopify uses on that theme. As you can see here on the ride theme, it's kind of like a gray sort of charcoal, uh, a dark, dark gray, more charcoal really. Uh, Sense is sort of like, kind of like a greenish color. Uh, refresh is also kind of white, almost like a little light gray maybe. Uh, same with craft and Dawn it uses white. So all you have to do next is come over here to customize the green button that will bring you into the Shopify theme editor. So next to edit your background color, next you're going to come over here to theme settings and click on that. And then you're going to select colors. Uh, then you scroll all the way down here to background. So there's a couple of different options you have for your background colors. Of course, the default for background one is just F, 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 which is white. Uh, that is the color code. So you can either type in a specific color code that you have, or you can use their little dragon uh, slider to change the background color. So as you can see here, we're changing it to sort of like an orange. Now this will change a lot of aspects of your store um, on your store without changing other aspects of the sections, which I'll be diving into in a little bit here, how to edit other parts of the colors and where this then, where this background color will then appear on your store. Because if you want maybe just part of the background changed in some sections, you can also do that as well. So as you can see here, let's go ahead and go with black. As you can see here, you can't read any of the text now. Uh, so you'd really have to change a lot of other parts of your store if you're gonna be changing all those sections. We're gonna stick with this kind of green color, I think is kind of cool. Um, of course, if you know, that's the, you have, feel free to choose whatever color that you want to for your store. Um, and just bear in mind with like visibility, you wanna make sure that things are visible to people as well. Um, so bear that in mind as well. So we'll stick with this kind of green for the background one. Now background two, on the contrary, is for other sections of your store. So if we scroll down here, you can see that these little sections here kind of have just like a white background. So if you select blue, as you can see here, background two will then appear in other parts of your store. So this collage section, as you can see here, the background color is then used when there is no product, when there's an empty section and other sections of your store will also display the background two color. So it, bear in mind when you're building this, you want it to match your overall brand and visual style that you're trying to go for on your online store because it will appear again in many different sections. So maybe you go with like one version and then maybe like a lighter version of that same color to kind of give you some contrast between the two colors. So we'll stick with that for background one and then background two, sort of like a lighter version of this green color. Um, maybe we go even just a touch lighter just so it's more visible. Um, yeah, so that, that looks good. So that is how you do the background too. We'll get into the gradients in just a second as well, but the different background one and background two is important. So let's say, for example, you click on this section here, a rich text section. So the color scheme that you select in your color settings under your theme settings will then appear wherever the color scheme is selected on a given section on your Shopify store. So as you can see here, we're now on the rich text section. If you click on that, then as you can see by default, the color scheme is background one. So you can also feel free to change this to your accent colors as well, 
or your other background color. So maybe we want background two for this section. So that gives you a little bit more contrast to change other parts of your background on your Shopify store. So you have background one, then you also have inverse. So you could even do like an inverse colorway uh, to give yourself more contrast. I think that looks pretty cool in my opinion, depending on the kind of overall look and feel you're going for for your online store. So you can also select the inverse or if you have your accent colors selected, then you can also do that as well. Utilizing the accent colors can be a great way just to add a little touch in some sections if you don't want it to appear necessarily like all across your store or maybe just like an inverse or even a background two type of option uh, can also work. But you need to build in your overall brand colors inside the color scheme section in your theme colors because those will appear across your entire store. So once you kind of set those, then you can go in and change these manually, uh, but that is really the only way to change out a given color based on the way that the online stores work nowadays on Shopify, which makes a lot of sense because it's a lot easier to update your overall branding in just one spot instead of having to go and change this across, you know, custom code or anything more complicated in more locations. The less instances you have, the easier it is to update things if you maybe you change your mind and you want to change these colors in the future. Now, if you want to add gradients to your background, you can also do that as well by selecting background one, then gradients. So we're going to go ahead and go with this little um, sort of purpley. Actually, we'll go with this one, sort of like a cotton candy type look. So give it a second to load here. And as you can see, now you have this kind of background look, which is pretty cool. Uh, in my opinion, you can do gradients. You can also customize the gradients and change the colors out uh, if you want to as well. We're just going to leave it with the default setting there for that linear gradient. Um, again, you could change out the gradients to your specific desire as well as far as the colors, but that's another way that you can sort of customize your online store and your overall backgrounds. Now, again, your background one will still appear in some sections, such as inside that email box, the play button, some of the text here. So your overall uh, background one color will still appear in other parts of your store. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're changing out um, maybe to that gradient color then there and then now you have it kind of like makes it a little bit better kind of matches your overall design so that's another way you can change your store you can also change out to a background two gradient uh if you wish as well we'll go with the aqua looking color and then that will update here in some sections of your store too so if you really want to get crazy with the colors on your online store you definitely can with shopify of course uh, as you can see here this is where then the background two appears inside that gradient Again, you can go in and easily edit certain sections to display that background to uh, gradient or just a, a given color that you want for your online store. So really, you have a lot of freedom and flexibility to how you want to edit your background colors on Shopify. Now, lastly, again, so once you have your uh, background color selected, you can easily change this for different sections on your online store. Uh, and again, with the other gradients as well if you want to use gradients you can easily uh, take those away as well but that pretty much wraps up how to change your background colors on your shopify store whether you want gradients or just a specific color uh, as well you know you have a lot of freedom and flexibility uh, on your shopify store to change out your background colors and really find whatever matches your uh, brand look and feel. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.